friends! What a wonderful Sunday again! Kamusta naman yung mga natutunan nyo nung mga nakaraang linggo? Grabe no! September na! At ilang months na lang, Christmas na! Nakaka-excite naman! And syempre, salamat kay Lord dahil ba may bago na naman tayong lesson na matututunan ngayong araw. Kaya tara na Royal Kids! Sabayan nyo akong sumayaw at umawit para kay Lord! on the throne He will reign forevermore And His kingdom will never end Come all let's worship the Lord Every tribe confessing His King As we worship the name of Jesus We will lift up our hands We will rise and take a stand Cause He is a great God He is a awesome, wonderful God Mighty in power Author of wisdom Better than life He is Purihin ang Panginoon sa buhay niyo, Royal Kids. Salamat kay Lord dahil sa kabila ng sitwasyong meron tayo ay nagagawa pa rin nating mag-worship kay Lord sa pamagitan ng online. Ihanda na natin ang ating mga sarili upang pakinig sa ating lesson ngayong araw. Good day, Royal Kids! Alam niyo ba na mayroong nagpadala ng sulat sa atin? Ito ay galing mula sa aking matalik na kaibigan na si Sam. Nagwa-worry siya sa isang bagay and she needs some help from us Royal Kids. Babasahin ko ah. Dear Teacher Bev, mayroon po akong problem ngayon. Medyo nagwa-worry lang po ako kasi ang mga kaibigan ko po ay may laptop na nagagamitin para sa online class namin. Tapos ako, wala pa. At lagi pong sumasagi sa isip ko na gusto ko na rin magkaroon ng laptop. Tulungan niyo po ako, Teacher Bev at Royal Kids. Ano po bang maia-advise niyo po sa akin para hindi na po ako makapag-isip ng ganito? Sana po matulungan niyo po ako. Nagmamahal, Sam. Hello, Sam! Alam naming nanonood ka ngayon. At tamang-tama ito para sa ating Bible story sa araw na ito. At nais ka naming tulungan. Tama ba, Royal Kids? Magaling! Katulad ng situation ni Sam, ang mga Israelita rin ay naghahangad ng isang bagay. Ito ay ang magkaroon ng isang hari. Noon kasi ay puro lamang mga propeta o mga taong ginagamit para sabihin ang message ni God 
para sa kanila. At sa panahong iyon, ang propeta ay si Prophet Samuel. Wala pang naging hari o pinakalider ang kanilang bansa na Israel. Pero ang tanong ay bakit? Ano ang dahilan ng pagnanais nila na magkaroon ng isang hari? At sino ang binigay ng Diyos at pinanghal bilang unang hari ng bansang Israel? Ito ang aalamin natin sa araw na ito. So let us watch a short video that is also found in the Bible, specifically in 1 Samuel chapter 8. So get ready, your looking eyes, listening ears, and quiet mouth. For many years, judges had led the people of God. Samuel was a judge over Israel. He loved God and always tried to do what was right. Some of the people had noticed that Samuel was getting old. They did not want him to die and leave his sons to be leaders, as they were bad men who tricked people. They started wondering what it would be like to have a king. We want a king! We don't want any more judges! All of the nations around us are kings! Why can't we have a king? We want to be like them! Samuel prayed and the Lord told him not to feel bad. It was not that the people did not want Samuel, they did not want the Lord to be their leader. Still, the Lord told Samuel that he would let the people have their way. Meanwhile, in another place, there was a young man named Saul. Hello, I'm Saul. Saul was supposed to be watching his father's donkeys, but the donkeys were lost. Saul and his father's servant looked all over the hill country for the donkeys, but they could not find the donkeys anywhere. Finally, Saul told the servant that they had better go back home. I have an idea, said the servant. I heard that Samuel, took man of God, is in took next town. Maybe he can pray to God and ask him where the donkeys are. So Saul and the servant went to the next town to find Samuel's house. When Saul saw a man walking along the road, he asked, Do you know where Samuel is? Hello, Saul. I am Samuel. Stop worrying about the donkeys. They have been found. Even though they had never met, Samuel already knew who he was and knew his name, and he knew about the donkeys. This really was a man of God. Saul went inside and ate a meal with him. The next morning they walked outside and Samuel gave Saul a special message from God. Saul, the Lord has chosen you to be king over all of Israel. Saul was somewhat surprised by this. Why would God choose me? I'm no one, I'm just a guy from a small village. Then Samuel poured oil on Saul's head to show that he had been chosen by God. So Saul went to Gilgal to wait for Samuel to come and make him king. All the people were waiting for Samuel in Gilgal too because they wanted to find out who the new king would be. When Samuel arrived, he told the people, God's choice is Saul. <gasps> Everyone looked around, but where was Saul? Even Samuel couldn't see him anywhere. Samuel prayed again and the Lord told him, He's hiding behind the baggage. Saul must have been very nervous, but the people thought he looked like a perfect king. He was taller than all the other men. The people were finally happy. Hurrah! They could have a king of their own. The people began shouting, Long live the king! Saul was the first real king of Israel. The people were happy now because they could be like the other nations. The end. And that was the reason kung bakit nag-request ng hari ang mga Israelita. Ano ulit ang dahilan? Tama! Ito ay dahil mayroon ng hari ang ibang bansa at ang bansang Israel ay wala pa dahil puro lamang propeta. Pero Royal Kids, si God at kahit si Samuel ay hindi naging masaya sa request nilang iyon na to give them a king. God wanted to be their king at ang kagustuhan nila na magkaroon ng isang hari ay nagpapatunay lamang na nire-reject o tinatanggihan nila ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos na mamuno sa kanilang bansa at sa kanilang buhay. Pero sinagot pa rin ng Diyos sa kanilang request. God led Samuel to Saul and instructed Samuel to anoint him as the new king. Ganun din sa ating buhay, royal kids. Walang ibang tunay na hari kundi ang Panginoong Jesus lamang. King Saul was the first king of Israel, but Jesus is the real king of our lives. 
Ano ba ang ibig sabihin kapag sinabing Jesus is the real King of our lives? It only means that let us welcome Jesus as the King na ating susundin, uunahin at paglilingkuran sa habang buhay. Meron kasing mga bagay, tao o gawain na itinuturing nating hari na mas inuuna natin, mas pinapahalagahan natin at mas sinusunod natin kaysa sa tunay na hari ng ating buhay na si Jesus. Huwag nating ire-reject at ipagpapalit ang pagiging hari ni Lord in our lives sa ibang mga bagay. Kaya para sa kaibigan kong si Sam at sa inyo na rin Royal Kids, maging paalala ito sa atin. Wala man tayong bagay na mayroon ng iba, hindi man natin magawa ang mga bagay na ginagawa nila, mayroon tayong Diyos na mapagmahal. Alam niya ang ating kailangan at ibibigay niya ito sa tamang panahon. Salamat sa pakikinig, Royal Kids! Goodbye! Grabe! Napakaganda naman talaga ng lesson natin ngayong umaga. Tandaan, Royal Kids! Walang ibang tunay na hari kundi ang ating Panginoong Jesus lamang. And let us always welcome Jesus as the only King na ating susundin, na ating uunahin, at paglilingkuran habang buhay. Ano naman kaya ang trivia natin ngayong umaga? Tara, alamin natin! Alam niyo ba, Royal Kids, na si King Saul ay 30 years old siya nung siya ay maging hari ng Israel at siya ay naghari sa Israel ng 42 years. Oo, tama ang narinig ninyo. Kaya, Royal Kids, i-share mo na sa mga friends mo ang trivia na nalaman mo ngayong araw. O, oh, nakahanda na ba ang mga gamit niyo para sa ating activity? Ready mo na yan at tayo, tayo na't alamin kung ano ang activity natin ngayong umaga. Kids, I'm Teacher Josiah and sa activity natin today, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng crown. Ayan. So, excited na ba kayo kung paano gawin ito? Yes, kung excited na, huwag na nating patagalin pa. Kaya simula na natin, ihanda nyo na ang inyong mga malikhaing kamay. Let's go, Royal Kids! So, for the materials that we need for our today's activity are the following. We have yellow color paper, scissor, glue or paste, a ruler, pencil, and marker. Step 1. Kunin ang inyong marker at colored paper at mag-draw ng gaya ng nasa video. Step 2. Kunin ang inyong ruler at guhitan ang dulo ng colored paper para may border. Step 3. Kunin ang gunting at ikat yung nadraw nyo. Make sure na lagyan ng border sa pagkakat Royal Kids ha. Step 4. Kunin nyo ang sobrang colored paper at magkat ng gaya ng nasa video. Step 5. Lagyan mo din ito ng border gaya ng isa. At Pwede mo na itong pagdugtungin gamit ang glue. And lastly, sulatan ng Jesus is King. Pwede din kayo maglagay ng kahit anong design sa in na inyong nanaisin, Royal Kids. And we're done! Ayan, meron na tayong crown. And as usual, don't forget to take pictures of your work and send them sa ating group chat. You can ask your parents or your family members to assist you in submitting your works. And every time na makikita nyo yung gawa nyo na crown na to, Royal Kids, always remember yung sinabi ni Teacher Bev kanina na si Panginoong Jesus lamang ang tunay na hari sa ating mga buhay. Bagamat si King Saul ang pinakaunang hari sa Israel, but Jesus still is the true King sa bawat buhay natin. Ibig sabihin siya lang ang ating paglilingkuran, mamahalin, at susundin habang buhay. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, Royal Kids, paalam!
tanggalin nyo na talaga, Royal Kids! Huwag nyo kakalimutang isend sa amin ng mga pictures nyo, ha? Magpatuloy lang kayo sa paggawa ng activities at palagi nyo itong ipamuhay. Ano naman kaya ang letter natin sa ating memory verse ngayong araw? Samahan nyo akong alamin at i-memorize ito. Good day, Royal Kids! I'm excited to introduce to you our memory verse for today. And it starts with the letter E. You may find our memory verse in the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 11, and it goes like this. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. Let us repeat it all together, Proverbs 20, 11. Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and whether it is right. For this month of September, our character focus is about the kings from the Bible. The people of Israel have chosen King Saul as their first king. It was quite sad because during this time, the Israelites rejected God as their king. Their rebelliousness towards God clouded their thinking which caused them to make a wrong decision and this decision made a great impact in their nation's history. Nothing is hidden from God. He knows everything about us. So kids, let us do our best to give honor to God in whatever we think, say, or do. God bless you all kids. Kindly upload your memory verse with your recording with our hashtag Royal Kids Bible Verse Challenge 2021. This is your teacher Sally saying, see you next time. Bye! Chapter 2, verse 14 To everything without complaining or arguing Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 To everything without complaining or arguing Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 Do everything without complaining or arguing Philippians 2, verse 14 do everything without grumbling or arguing. Philippians 2 verse 14 Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 Do everything without complaining or arguing. Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2 verse 14 Philippians 2 verse 14 Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2 verse 14 Philippians 2 14 Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2 14 Philippians 2 14 do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2.14 Philippians 2 verse 14 Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2 verse 14 Philippians 2 verse 14 Do everything without complaining and arguing. Philippians 2 verse 14 very good, Royal Kids! Hihintayin namin ang mga video nyo, ha? Royal Kids, paalalang muli, don't forget to like our Facebook page at mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Huwag mo rin kakalimutan i-share ang mga links natin sa mga friends mo. Tandaan, Royal Kids, patuloy na magpagamit at sumunod kay Lord. So, hanggang dito na lang ako. Maraming salamat, Royal Kids! See you next Sunday! Bye-bye!